Nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NMN, is a precursor to nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, known as NAD+, a compound found in every cell in your body. Importantly, with age and in cases of chronic diseases like obesity, cardiovascular disease, neurodegenerative disease, and sarcopenia, which is age-related muscle wasting, NAD plus levels decline. Thus, restoring NAD plus levels under these circumstances with NAD plus precursors like NMN can potentially mitigate the ill effects of aging and even prevent or reverse chronic diseases. The anti-aging and prolongevity effects of boosting NAD plus in both animal models and humans is currently supported by a growing body of scientific evidence. Key highlights from the trials include a February 2020 study in Japan that confirmed NMN safety, showing no adverse health impacts. Another study done in July 2021 demonstrated that NMN improves aerobic capacity in middle-aged runners, correlating higher doses with greater benefits. This human trial focused on evaluating the effects of NMN supplementation on the aerobic capacity of middle-aged athletes. The study was designed as a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled, four-arm clinical trial, which involved 48 young and middle-aged recreationally trained runners. These participants were not professional athletes, but were individuals who engaged in regular running as part of their fitness routines. Study details. The trial lasted for six weeks. Participants were divided into four groups. The low-dose group received 300 mg of NMN per day, the medium-dose group 600 mg per day, the high-dose group 1200 mg per day, and the control group received a placebo. The primary objective was to assess whether NMN could enhance aerobic capacity, which is often measured by how efficiently the body can use oxygen during intense exercise. Aerobic capacity is a crucial factor in endurance sports and overall cardiovascular health. In the recent study, several key findings emerged regarding NMN supplementation. First, there was a noticeable increase in aerobic capacity, particularly in the medium and high dose groups. Interestingly, the higher the dose of NMN, the more significant the improvement in aerobic performance was observed. This enhancement in aerobic capacity was attributed to improved oxygen utilization by skeletal muscle. It suggests that NMN may help optimize the body's use of oxygen potentially through biochemical pathways involved in cellular energy production. Moreover, it's important to note that there were no adverse health effects reported, affirming the safety of NMN at the dosages administered during the trial. These results provide compelling evidence that NMN supplementation could be beneficial for enhancing physical performance and endurance, specifically in the context of aerobic activities like running. Additional studies through 2022 to 2023 evaluated NMN's impact on blood NAD levels, muscle function, metabolic health in pre-diabetic women, sleep quality, and physical endurance. For instance, in February 2022, a study involving 32 overweight or obese adults aged 55 to 80 found that two 500 mg doses of NMN, whether taken once or twice daily, effectively doubled the blood levels of NAD. Moving to April of the same year, pre-diabetic overweight women aged 55 to 75 saw improvements in muscle insulin sensitivity and structure thanks to NMN supplementation. By May 2022, the Youth Evers trial showed a 38% increase in blood NAD levels and a 6.5% improvement in physical performance in 66 middle-aged and elderly adults. Further studies in 2022 explored NMN's potential to reduce arterial stiffness, enhance muscle insulin sensitivity, and improve metabolic and cardiovascular markers. Each study contributes uniquely to the understanding of NMN's potential effects on aging, metabolism, and overall health, supporting its use in specific demographic groups under controlled conditions. The findings underscore the progressive validation of NMN's benefits through controlled studies, emphasizing the importance of professional consultation when considering NMN supplementation. Given the decline in NAD plus levels with age and in chronic diseases such as obesity, cardiovascular disease, neurodegenerative disorders, and sarcopenia, NMN supplementation could potentially mitigate aging effects and prevent or reverse chronic conditions. 
This is supported by growing scientific evidence, both from animal models and human studies. Key findings include the confirmation of NMN's safety in a February 2020 study in Japan, which reported no adverse health effects. A July 2021 trial showed that NMN improves aerobic capacity in middle-aged runners, with higher doses yielding greater benefits. Additionally, studies through 2022 to 2023 focused on NMN's impact on blood NAD levels, muscle function, and metabolic health in various groups, including pre-diabetic women and elderly adults. Overall, there is a growing body of evidence supporting the therapeutic potential of NMN in enhancing physical performance, improving metabolic health, and supporting longevity through the maintenance of NAD plus levels. The recommended dosage of NMN varies depending on several factors, including age, weight, and the specific health goals of an individual. Here's a summary of the general recommendations found across the sources. For adults under 35, it is typically recommended to start with 250 mg of NMN daily. This dose can be doubled to 500 mg daily after one or two weeks. For adults age 35 and older, the recommendation is to start with 500 mg daily and increase to 1,000 mg after one to two weeks. Based on a study for an average adult weighing about 137 pounds, an optimal dosage would be about 500 mg per day. Larger adults weighing about 198 pounds should take about 750 mg per day. People over age 65 can safely take 750 mg per day to maximize NMN's benefits. Early studies suggest that taking NMN supplements at doses of up to 1,200 mg per day may provide health benefits related to insulin sensitivity, aerobic function, and fatigue with minimal risk of undesirable side effects. It's important to note that the optimal dose can vary significantly among individuals. The FDA has recently changed the regulatory status of NMN and it is currently being investigated as a drug, which affects its availability and recommended usage as a dietary supplement. Therefore, it is highly recommended to consult a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen, especially at higher doses. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for sticking to the end. As always, please like and subscribe to be sure to get more content like this. And good health to you.